Hello everyone, I'm Cricket, and welcome back to my channel, where I have changed video backgrounds three times in the past month. So I am gonna take some you quizzes with y'all. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I just needed to collect enough quizzes to make a good video, and I feel like I've done that now. Hopefully this video turns out well. Let me know if you think it did. So the first you quiz that we're going to do today is called go grocery shopping to find out what liminal space you are. I'm very excited. I want to know what kind of liminal space I am. My personal favorite liminal space will always be that feeling you get when you walk into a truck stop at like 2 a.m. and you've been driving for hours and you visited places that you didn't know about before so you just get that feeling of like wow the world is big and there are so many people going about their lives at like 2 a.m. I wonder what they're up to. It's a great feeling. Also, airports. Just like generally. Question 1 of 13. Which side do you come in? Oh, I'm going grocery shopping. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay, so. What side do I come in on the grocery store? Wherever I parked, home goods, groceries, obviously. I don't go to those big grocery stores. Doesn't matter, I'm going to be walking around in a fugue state anyway. Generally, I go inside wherever I parked at a grocery store, but that's partially because I plan ahead where I'm gonna park based on what I need to do. So I'm just gonna say wherever I parked, whatever, whatever, wherever I parked. Pick a dinner to get ingredients for. Pasta with jar sauce, easy enough, but I made some effort. Listen, okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna make some people angry with this, but I don't actually like pasta that much. I don't. I just never have a craving for it. My brother really likes it, so he makes it all the time. And I just never, if there's anything else to eat, pretty much. I'll eat that instead of pasta. I just don't like it that much. And I feel like it's really overhyped. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? Chicken and broccoli and potatoes. Classic. Chili, baby. Mac and cheese from the box, but maybe with hot dogs or vegetarian nuggets or something. You know, fancy. Tacos for taco night or chicken slash eggplant chicken eggplant parmesan and I'm going to make the sauce etc. I need some fucking ingredients none of this prepared shit. Hmm. I think if I were to go grocery shopping for a dinner it would probably be closest to this chicken and broccoli with potatoes thing because if I'm making a dinner on my own then it's not going to be anything exciting like chicken slash eggplant parmesan or whatever. It's going to be like a good protein and then a side and then another side and that's pretty much gonna be it. How do you tackle the store? In one side, around and out the other, back to front, front to back. I think I generally go to the back first and then I go like around in a, in a big square and like zigzag, I'll say, but I'll say back to front. I think that's generally what I do. I don't know why you would go front to back. What would that even get you? What would that, why, 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 why would you do that? Pick a treat. The wine is my treat, chocolate or chips. Something a little fancy, it's a treat for me. Something little at the checkout, I never get anything at the checkout. As enticing as it is, I am so spiteful of the fact that they intentionally put that stuff there so that you'll be like, oh, it's not that much and pick it up and buy it, that I will never buy anything next to a checkout because I know that's why it's there and I will not submit to what they want me to do, you know? Anyway, um, I don't have issues at all. I should probably should just get what I came for or ice cream. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do chocolate or chips. I am always a slut for the Kettle brand jalapeno chips. If I will buckle and get a treat for myself ever, it's gonna be those because those are just ooh, the mouth burning, the salt, the crunch. Oh my god, they're perfect. They're perfect. They're like the perfect chip, I swear to god. Which of these is your grocery shopping style? I'm dissociating. I can't believe I'm not able to complete even the simplest of tasks. Original, how did I survive this long? Be sure to rid, rid yourself of dignity. You won't be needing it for this maneuver. This guy. 
I keep screaming but God doesn't hear me, or wail with pizza. It has to be this one because I've even talked to some of my friends about this. Like, I don't know how I am as bad at grocery shopping as I am. Like, I will get lost in grocery stores, and not like lost, like I'll know where I am, but I'll be trying to find this like, relatively, you'd think, easy to find thing, like bread or mayonnaise or whatever, and it'll take me like 20 minutes to find it because I'm too anxious to ask an employee where it is, and I feel like it should go in one place and it's just not there, so I'll just keep roaming around that general area until I stumble upon it at some point and it actually turns out I've walked past it like five times. And that is my grocery shopping experience every time I go and it is so, so infuriating. It is, it is a tragic aspect of my person and it's why I literally <laughs> most like YouTuber thing I could possibly do, I started doing HelloFresh recently. Um, they're not sponsoring me, although <laughs> HelloFresh, if you want to come sponsor me for my 66 subscribers, that would be nice. <laughs> anyway, um, you can take all of the ad revenue I make on my videos. I don't care HelloFresh. All of the stuff that I'm making right now, you can have. Anyway, um, I've been doing HelloFresh and it is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna hype it up too much because I want them to pay me before I do that, but it is pretty good and it has saved me from grocery shopping, which as I said before, is like my own personal hell. Pick one to sample. Ew, oh, oh God, this is, I don't like this. I don't like, I don't like this. Monster Energy Ham. I've been drinking a lot of Monster lately. That would be kind of dope. You just eat a ham sandwich and you are energized. Boiled pizza, spaghetti donut. Again, spaghetti's not my favorite thing. Salsa and Oreos. I kind of want to try that. I don't know why, but out of all of these, the salsa and Oreos is the only one, aside from the Monster Energy Ham, which I feel like wouldn't taste bad, it would just be horrible for you. I kind of want to try dipping Oreos in salsa for no reason other than I have the, the vibe that it might work somehow. But to sample, I guess to sample, I'll try it, I'll try it. I want to try the, the salsa Oreos. Who knows what'll happen? There's no escape. You're going to be here forever. The lines stretch into eternity. You see the devil. Accept your death. Val valiantly retain hope somehow. I'll accept my death. Maybe I'll get to get down with a demon. Who knows? Finally, you hit the checkout. What do you say to the cashier? I'm fine, thanks. I'm so sorry for being a customer. <laughs> Did you see the devil too, or was that just me? Haha, <laughs> no price tag? That must mean it's free. <laughs> I fucking hate customers like that! Ah. Wow, crazy busy in here, huh? I hope you're rewarded for your sacrifices in the afterlife of your choice. I might have died in the frozen aisle. Can you ask me something only a living person would know? Mm. I, I would say I'm so sorry for being a customer because that's basically my experience going anywhere at this point. I bought something I went to a store and I bought something with cash the other day and it was a kind of large purchase and I just felt so terrible but I had all of this cash that I just wanted to get rid of because I don't use cash ever and I felt so bad for paying for this purchase in cash. I apologized like four times to the cashier person because number one, she was cute and number two, cash is just a pain in the ass always to deal with and I felt really terrible about it. And so, yes, that is me. I am so sorry for being a customer. Uh, customers do not deserve rights. An empty school hallway. You were never supposed to be here. This isn't right. The place is supposed to be filled with people and empty. It all looks wrong. You have ambitions, but you're stalled right now. You're trying to make the right decisions, but things keep happening that make them harder. Look around you. Where has everyone gone? People need people to survive. It's time to make a change before this loneliness becomes permanent. God, this place is creepy. 
I don't like how accurate this random Euquis is. That little bit about you have ambitions, but you're stalled right now. You're trying to make the right decisions, but things keep happening that make them harder. Bitch. I was supposed to film today and then my, I was like, oh yeah, because I was supposed to have just like a, a four hour shift today. And then my manager was like, oh no, we need you to work doubles uh, to, on Wednesday and Thursday. It's Wednesday today. Um, and I want to upload on Mondays and Fridays now. Follow my Twitter, I said it on there. Um, except this week I've literally worked 12 hour shifts every day. So kind of a shit week to try to kick off uploading twice a week. But hey, whatever, it's fine, I'm trying my best. All right, yeah, so this one, this one, this one read me for filth, I should say. It is, um, scarily accurate. Thank you, um, what's the person who made this quiz? Who is, ooh, only 14% of people got empty school hallway. I don't know who made this quiz, but whoever you are, you might want to invest in some tarot cards or a psychic shop or something. Next up, we have which homophobic gay character are you? You know those characters that just radiate pure gay vibes but would also call you a slur? Yeah, those are the ones I'm talking about. Okay, starting off, are you gay? Yeah. I, I'm not. Sweats nervously, incoherent yelling. Never talk to me again. Why do you want to know, huh? Looking to get a little freaky. To think that it is any of your business to know of my personal life is ridiculous. There's not a... I'll just say incoherent yelling because my identity is always an enigma to even me. Pick a man that I, as a lesbian, find weirdly attractive. Alex DeLarge from Quack... Whoa, I'm great at talking tonight. Alex DeLarge from Clockwork Orange. Nick from Zootopia. The Fox, dude? The lawyer from The Staircase, Netflix documentary, a medium attractive male character, but with blood on his face and or clothes. Eric Andre, but only when he is chaotic. Any teacher who is nice to me. A medium attractive male character, but with blood on his face and or clothes. I gotta say, Hannibal writes, TBH. That's like half the aesthetic of Hannibal and it's perfect. Just cover Hugh Dancy in blood and see what happens. And it's wonderful, it's so good, I love it. Pick a pretentious and kind of fruity movie that I love. The favorite, Swiss Army Man, Disobedience, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, yep, that's it. Portrait of a Lady on Fire, I cried so much, it's so good. Pick a line from one of my fan fictions, ooh, when he thinks about it, God is kind of like a big invisible worm. I've had tons of sex, I've had all the sex, he yells out in protest. It made you wonder if it was worth it. The thrill of the spark in exchange for the desperate wish not to have known it in the first place. Did this person write a fanfiction in the second person? Because that is a crime that should warrant the death penalty, in my opinion. Let me in before I phrase my nips off. That's kind of tame. The only thing you amount to is increasing the viewer count on piss pornos and self-help videos. Damn. Piss pornos. Hmm. Please don't be homophobic when I'm around. It hurts my gay feelings, said sarcastically. This one, I like that one. That's something that I would say. Pick a historical and kinda gay person. John F. Kennedy, for falling asleep with that fat ass in front of him. Alexander Hamilton and his fruity ass letters to John Lawrence. Michelangelo and his inability to sculpt realistic looking boobies. Virginia Woolf in her sexless marriage and close female companions. Ancient Pompeii skeletons embracing in death both men. This one, uh, this one, I love. I love, I'm a huge history nerd and I love anything that's like, wow. People have been human for like forever. And at the end of the day, we're just like the same. We just like hugging people and hanging out and chatting and dogs. And like I, seeing dogs in like Renaissance paintings always makes me like, oh, like that's, that's a normal ass dog. And it's just there like 300 years ago, 
It's crazy. It's crazy. It's fucked up. Crazy. Pick a song to listen to while committing gay crime. Toxic Britney Spears. Ooh, they misspelled Britney. I don't like that. Ain't No Rest for the Wicked. Cage the Elephant. Mama, My Chemical Romance. Crazy Girls Too Poor. Killer Queen. Queen. Oh, Anna. Mother, Mother. Anything by ABBA. I put this in for the ABBA lovers who felt neglected. God, all of these songs are so good, though. They're so good. Ooh, I think... God, what? Mm. This, this is the hardest question so far, and it's literally just a pick a song question. Mama or Toxic? Or Ain't No Rest for the... Mm, killer Queen? Ah! For committing gay crimes specifically, I'm gonna pick Mama, just because My Chemical Romance is the kind of music that always makes me want to commit crimes. Pick one of the hyperfixations that I have on rotation. Scientology, True Crime, Bo Burnham, insert problematic TV series here, high fashion throughout history. Ooh, I am gonna have to say Scientology just because L. Ron Hubbard was a fucking enigma and I would research that man for ages. Without the restraints of capitalism, what would you do? Ooh, are you insinuating capitalism is bad? Because if so, we have some debating to do. That was like Valley Girl Ben Shapiro. I don't know where that went. I don't know. I don't know who I am without the pressure I put on myself. I would invest in myself in the unknown, in the unexplored. I would learn to love. I'm gonna say I don't know who I am without the pressure I put on myself. But let's not read too deep into that, shall we? Any last thoughts? Unless it's mean, then I don't want to hear it. P P pool pool. Dennis in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So how is the mental illness and daddy issues going, huh? Anyways, Dennis will literally spend half his life codependent in a codependent relationship with another gay man and still have a meltdown if you assume he is gay, which he absolutely is. It's kind of tragic in a way, but I will pretend. I don't feel sad about it. I don't watch It's Always Sunny, um, but I have friends who do and who might watch this video, so let me know if this is accurate. <laughs> the, uh... It sure seems like it. <laughs> so cool. Cool, 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 cool. I love how I can get read this much just for some fucking weird ass questions on a quiz. Very cool, very cool, very cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been really fun. I like the more kinds of chatty videos that are just like doing some fun shit and you know, talking, laughing, having a good time, all of that. But I'm gonna go get some sleep now because I'm exhausted. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, give a comment, maybe comment some other quizzes I could take someday. I would love to do that. I, Uquiz is such a fun little website. I go down rabbit holes on it so often lately. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Bye.